loading charges comes under zero. Why? Because the rice seventy thousand into five percent three thousand five hundred divided by two. So the agenda is very simple. We will do the problem along with that we will understand the concept also. Collection contribution and pension scheme of state government. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adesh sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And we are in the session six of your topic called indirect tax. Under indirect tax, we are discussing levy and collection of tax. What is levy and collection of tax? Now you know that we have done the theory part, and also we have done many problems on levy and collection of. tax and we have small small things like milk footwear and all for that what percentages are there and how to calculate in the previous session we have done calculation in today's session again we'll do the same thing but we'll do more number of problems so the agenda is very simple we will do the problem along with that we'll understand the concept also Your problem number one: Compute GST from the following loading charges, your toll charges, first class rail charges, air charges, economic loss, selling of advertisement space, etc. These are the charges we have now. See, these are the percentages: zero percent, zero five, five percent, five percent. Now, loading charges comes under zero. Why? Because The rice, the rice what you load for that whatever charges happen that will be zero cost, zero tax. Toll charges for bridge again it is zero. First class air it is five percent. Air charges economy it is five percent. Selling of advertisement space also five percent. Now these are the percentages are there in your examination. Sometimes they will give you percentage. Others, you are only supposed to remember percentage. Now we'll go for this first one. Loading charges of rice. First one. Loading charges of rice. What is the rate of GST? It is zero percent. What is the supply value? It is ten thousand. Supply value is ten thousand. Your CGST and SGST are nil. Next, after this, toll charges of bridge. Now, toll charges T O double L. T O double L. Toll charges. How much we have? I'll check toll charges. In this, we have twenty five thousand at zero percent. Now. Again, it is zero percent. Your supply value is twenty-five thousand. No need to calculate anything now. After that, we have first class rail charges fifteen thousand at five percent. First class rail charges. First class rail charges. Amount is fifteen thousand. Percentage is. Five percent. How to calculate? We have CGST also. We have SGST also. So it will be fifteen thousand into fifteen percent. You got two thousand two fifty divided by two. It will be double one two five one thousand one twenty five one thousand one twenty five. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now next one. Your air charges of economy class. Air charges of economy class. Air charges of economy class. What is the value? The value is two lakh fifty thousand, and the percentage is five percent. Now, five percent, two lakh fifty thousand. Calculate. It will be. Two lakh fifty thousand into five percent. I got twelve thousand five hundred divided by two. It will be six thousand two fifty. Six thousand two fifty. Six two five zero. Six two five zero. 
Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, once a fill is done, we have last one selling of advertisement space 25,000. Selling of advertisement space. Selling of advertisement space. So, how much it is? 5%. And it is 25,000 at 5%. 25,000 at 5%. We'll calculate. So it will be 25,000 into 5%. I got 1,250 divided by 2. It will be 625 and 625. 625, 625. So we done with all calculation, just you're supposed to total. Now, what is the supply? 10,000 plus 25,000, 15,000, 2 lakh 50,000, 25,000. I got 3 lakh 25,000. 3 lakh 25,000. And this one, double one two five plus 6250 plus 625. It will be 8,000 and this will be 8,000. Double one two five plus 6250 plus 625. I got it is 8,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. So these are the calculations we are supposed to do. Now, so we'll go for the next one. Problem number five, compute GST from the following. Now, collection of construction under the Atal Pension Yojana. Remember this word. If it is Atal Pension Yojana, it comes under 0%. Even though it is not given in the question paper, you are supposed to remember and you are supposed to do this. Now, collection of contribution under pension scheme of state government, 1,50,000 at 0%. Now, again, it is also pension scheme of state government. It is also comes under zero percent. Then aid charges other than economic class C. In the previous problem, we did aid charges economic class five percent. Other than economic class, it is twelve percent. Remember, transfer of goods from rail it is five percent. Supply of drinks comes under. 18%. Hope you are clear. And which one you have to remember? A charges economic class 5%. Other than economic class, it is 12%. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, first one, collection of contribution under Atal Pension Yojana, 2 lakh rupees. Atal Pension Yojana, percentage is 0%. And the value is 2 lakh and the calculation part is nil. Computation of GST. Computation of GST. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, second one. Collection contribution under pension scheme of state government. Pension scheme of state government. Pension scheme of state government. It is again 0%. What is the value? The value we have around 1,50,000. 1,50,000 and nil and nil. Why? Because the value is almost 0%. Then we have air charges other than economy class. It is 5 lakh at 12%. Air charges. Air charges. So it is 12%. What is the value? A charges value is 5 lakh. So it is 5 lakh. So on 5 lakh we'll calculate 12%. Into 12%, we get 60,000 divided by 2. It will be 30,000 and 30,000. Next, this is done. Next one. After A charges, transfer of goods by rail, 2 lakh at 5%. So, transfer of goods by rail. Goods by rail. 
So what is the value? Value is 2 lakh and percentage is 5%. 5% and this must be 2 lakh. Calculate 2 lakh into 5%. 2 lakh into 5%, it is 10,000 and 10,000. 10,000 and 10,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, after this, we have supply of drinks in licensed restaurant. It is 1 lakh at 18%. Supply of drinks. Supply of drinks. What is the percentage? 12%. Sorry, 18% at 1 lakh. 18% at 1 lakh. Again, calculate 18% like 1 lakh into 18% divided by 2. It will be 9,000, 9,000. 9,000 and 9,000. Hope you are clear. Clear? Yes. Now we will add everything. 2 lakh plus 1 lakh 50,000 plus 5 lakh plus 2 lakh plus 1 lakh. Total we got uh, 11 lakh 50,000. 11 lakh 50,000. Similarly, 30,000 plus 10,000 plus 9,000. We got 49,000. And 49,000. Hope you are clear. So there is a calculation. Zero means we will not calculate. If there are any percentages, we calculate. Now, I'll go to next one. Unpacked food grains. Remember, if it is unpacked food grains means what? Like, again, it is your agriculture product only. Then, cashew nuts of 70,000 at 5%. Yes, 5%. Toothpaste, 20,000 at 18%. Yes. Uh, gambling is the highest rate of percentage. We have 28. Service for form and cheat fund, it is 4%. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, we'll go for this. Compute GST from the following. First one, unpacked food grains, it is 80,000. Unpacked food grains amount is 80,000 and the percentage is 0% it will be nil and nil. Next cashew nuts 70,000 at 5% cashew nuts 70,000 at 5% yes on 70,000 we calculate 5% 70,000 into 5%, 3,500 divided by 2, it will be 1750, 1750. Yes, hope you are clear. Yes. Now, after this, you have toothpaste 20,000 at 18% toothpaste. So, 18%. The value is 20,000. So we'll calculate 18% on 20,000. 20,000 into 18%, it is 3,600 divided by 2, 1800, 1800. 1800 and 1800. Now, after this, you're gambling 50,000 at 28%. Gambling fifty thousand at twenty eight percent. As I told you, the highest percentage is for gambling fifty thousand into eighteen percent. Fifty thousand into eighteen percent divided by two, it will be four thousand five hundred and four thousand five hundred. Hope you are clear. Now, once if it is done, next. Service by foreman, F-O-R-E-M-A-N. Service by foreman. Service by, 
service by four man. How much the value? Value is twenty five thousand and four percent. So what do you mean by four man? Four man, it is nothing but the leader. If there are a group of workers are there, one must be the leader, one must lead the team. That person we call it as four man. Manager, leader, team uh, leader, we can call it as four man. Now, so if you calculate 25,000 into 4%, it will be 1,000. Divide by two, it will be 500 and 500. We done with your calculation and I'll add, we'll see what is the answer. 80,000 plus 70,000 plus 20,000 plus 50,000 plus 25,000. I got 2 lakh 45,000. 2 lakh 45,000. Then 1750 plus 1800 plus 4500 plus 500, 8550. 8,550. Then, 175, so it will be same. 8,550. I'll cross check once. 5, 6, 7, 5, 8, yes, 8,550. Uh, 50, 70, 140, 165, and 245. Yes, it is proper. Now, so this is what your problem number 6, and we have completed. Yes. We'll go for next problem, the problem number seven. Now, compute GST from the following. Now, in this, you have mobile. Remember, for mobile, it is 12%. Footwear, remember, if it is below 500, it will be what? 5%. The value of footwear is less than 500 rupees. We should go for 5%. If the value is more than 500, we should go for 8%. 15%. It must be 4000. It is not 400. Why? Because if the value is below 500, it must be 5%. Remember this. Again, I'll repeat. Footwear value less than 500 rupees. The percentage will be 5%. Now, but the value now it is 4000. So that's when the value is the percentage is 18%. Now, toothpaste. 18%, vegetable is 0, agrabati 5%, ice cream, it is 18%. What is the value of ice cream? The ice cream value is 10,000. Ice cream value is 10,000. Now, we'll calculate this first one, mobile. Mobile and the percentage 12% and 20,000. 12% and 20,000. Next, we have footwear 18% at 4,000. 18% at 40,000. Next, sorry, 4,000. Toothpaste 600 at 18%. Toothpaste. 600 at 18 percent, toothpaste uh, 18 percent and 600. We have fresh vegetables 200 at 0 percent, fresh vegetables 0 percent and 200 and agarbatti. Agarbatti at 5%, the value is 100. 5% and the value is 100. Then we have ice cream 10,000 at 18%. Ice cream. So what, what is the value? Value is 10,000 and the percentage is 18%. 18% and the value must be 10,000. Now, these are the calculations we have. We are supposed to calculate tax. Now, first one, mobile phones, 20,000 into 12% divided by 2. I got 1,200 and 1,200. Next, 
I got this one 4000 into 18 percent divided by 2. So it will be 360 and 360. Then I got 600 into 18 percent divided by 2. I got 54 and 54. Then uh, your vegetable will be 0 and 0, your 100 rupees into 5 percent divided by 2. 2.5 and 2.5. Whatever tax we get, we have to divide to CG and SG. Now, 1000 into 18 percent divided by 2, I got 90 rupees. 90 and 90. We'll add everything 1200 plus 360 plus 54 plus 0 plus 2.5 plus 90. How much I got? 1706.5 1706.5 Hope you are clear. Yes. Now it will be the total is 20,000 plus 4,000 plus 600 plus 200 plus 100 plus 10,000. 34,900. 34,900. Hope you are clear. Yes. So we got 20,000, 4,000, 600, 200, 300, 10,000. 34,900. Now, so this is all about your today's session actually. I'll go back to all these slides so that you can check your answer. The first problem for the day. The solution. Next problem. Solution. Next problem. Solution. Next problem. Solution. Yes. So this is all about your today's session and try to remember all the percentage ice cream 18%, agarbatti 5, footwear 18% and any vegetable 0%, everything you are supposed to remember. Thank you.